What's up, TMB fam? Welcome back to TMB Nation. It's your girl Tawana and your boy Vaughn, and we are back. Yeah. Video. This is the next to the last video for the Crazy Days of December challenge. Yep. This is National Eggnog Day. We doing it at night because we got some boozy eggnog pudding shots. I'll let y'all get a look at that. <laughs> and the see-through thing. And of course, we also got our TMV Nation shot glasses. www.sentmo.com. That's www.sentmo.com, baby. <laughs> Audio shot glasses. <laughs> so. So we're going to get into this. And mm -hmm. we're going to do also the 25. What is it? The 25 questions of Christmas or something like that? Yeah, something like that. So how y'all doing over there? Do y'all like eggnog and do you like it like with a little something something or how you like your eggnog? I'm not an eggnog drinker so we'll see. Ours are a little boozy. I think most people drink them boozy or eating them but I think most people like their eggnog with booze. A little rum. Something. Yeah, something. So you want to give it a taste? Well, we, we going to put the whipped cream? Oh, that's right. I already feel a little boozy. Thank you. You already feel a little boozy. A little boozy. Y'all, it's gonna be Christmas in how many days? What's today? Today? <laughs> tomorrow. Three more days? When y'all see this, tomorrow. Ooh. This comes out Christmas Eve. Y'all. Christmas tomorrow. Just. Mm. That's it went good. by so fast. These are good, y'all. What is eggnog? I'm not sure. <laughs> it is a creamy, very rich. Because I'm like. And thick drink. Flavored with nutmeg, cinnamon. It's got pumpkin. What do you call it? Pumpkin, pumpkin pie type seasonings. People drink it this thick? No. It's a little thicker than milk when you drink it. Ooh. This is good, but... So you never had it? I, I had it. Yes, but I'm saying I don't... I don't really remember what it was like. It was a long time ago. Kennedy claimed that I had it not so long ago. Hmm. We were in Louisiana a few years ago. I don't remember that. And if I did, I was probably already a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into these questions. What's your favorite holiday movie? Now you answer that first because it's going to take me a while. All Home Alone movies. My truth. It's good though. Probably, it ain't too sweet. I probably like the best man holiday if I had to. I was going to say that, but it's a little depressing, so I don't want to say that. I mean, it's kind of sad. It's a little sad. Yeah. But it's a good story. Mm hmm. What's your favorite holiday drink? I like this tea that you make with cranberry juice. You put red hots in it and cinnamon sticks and all kind of fall type. It, it ends up with this fall flavor and also add a little booze to it. I don't even know what you call it, Christmas tea. I like anything pumpkin spice, pump, I guess pumpkin spice lattes mm. <laughs> or like praline lattes and things like that that come out around this time of year. So that's my fave. Now I used to be, I used, I, once upon a time I would have said eggnog. Really? I, you used to really like it? I used to love eggnog. But what I've noticed over the past part of five years is that my stomach says, oh no, 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 no. It's no, too much dairy don't. for me. Any it dairy? It's very, it's full rich. Of dairy. Mm -hmm. If you could have 
If you could only have one type of Christmas candy for the whole holiday season, what would it be? What's Christmas candy? Oh! What do you call these candies? There are these little squares. It's like peppermint. Mm. Me and Kaden love them. We have these little peppermint squares. Yeah, we get them every Christmas. I can't think of the name of them. Is that? Made? It's like a peppermint bark. It's made by Giardelli. I think so. Perhaps it's really good though. Fame. So peppermint bark. We get it bark. every peppermint bark. Basically, we get it every Christmas. It's the only time we eat it is Christmas. What about you? When I hear Christmas candy, I think candy canes. Cause I don't. You like candy cane? I guess. I mean, it's just peppermint. <laughs> uh, who's the toughest person on your Christmas list to shop for? For me, it's Caitlin. Mm. Stepdaughter Caitlin. Why is that, you think? <sighs> because. She the most, y'all. She the most. She is the most, but I don't know. It's just her, the things she likes are so specific. And I'm not so sure I've picked up on all of them yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But I got her a good one this year. Yeah. I guess we'll see the verdict tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe tonight. Because we open some gifts on Christmas Eve. One. Only one. One gift, not some. And I don't like... I don't even like to open one gift, but they pressure me into opening a gift. I'm a Christmas Day gift kind of person, Christmas morning. Y'all, these pajamas tight. <laughs> they weren't last we year. We got these last year. They <laughs> so that's that. <clears throat> wait, wait. All this mukbang. Oh, I'm about to say that. That word. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is that 2020 weight. It's a 2020 weight. Did, um, did we answer the question? No, I didn't. It's not really, okay, believe it or not, you were the toughest person for me to shop for. Really? Uh-huh. Because my kids are all into like things. They like, I know what they like. They're my kids, they like material things. I know what he likes too, but he's not, he's not like a materialistic person. Like, he don't know Gucci belt, like things like that, that men will want or, it's an expensive cologne or whatever, although I do like, I do, that's, I do like to buy cologne. That's why I, I got you the Gucci last year, but there are certain things that I would like to gift you with, but it's like, he don't want those types of things. He's like, why y'all buy this and that, spend y'all money on this and that. But you know what? There are some things I feel like wives do, but it's really, it's kind of for them. It's like, I like, I would like to smell this on you. I would like how you like if like you out shopping or whatever, and you're like, "Ooh, this would look good on him." So even though I might not buy that for myself, or I might never ask for it, it's not something I would be drawn to. Because <laughs> like you would wear it, like if I got you something you would normally wear. Okay, that's good to know. No, I don't like the idea. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go spend a ton of money on I, some designer stuff. No, because he doesn't like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't even like the idea. He don't like the idea of that. But you're you're not even into like stuff. That's why. You're, you're the hardest because you're not into stuff. Everybody else in my family is into stuff. They like stuff, we like stuff. He doesn't really like stuff the way we you do. Be, you, I've mentioned the types of bourbon <clears throat> I like. You probably weren't listening. I but. probably wasn't listening to that. But I got him stuff I wanted him to have. Well, see, that works too. I don't even what I got, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I guess so. Not tonight. Mm -mm. Tomorrow. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas song? Silent Night. For sure. It don't matter who sings it. I like the Kelly Clarkson one. But anybody can sing it. So I'll go way back, y'all. Chestnuts Roasting on, on an Open Fire. Yeah, that's good. Specifically sung by Nat King Cole. The reason I like that is because my grandmother used to play that around Christmas, especially Christmas Eve. So I heard that whole Nat King Cole album all Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day. So I bet y'all like that Temptation Silent Night. I like that one too. I thought about that one. 
But I had to be honest and say my favorite one was Kelly Clarkson. Oh, her whole Christmas album. I used to love her. She has an amazing voice. If you could travel anywhere for Christmas, where would it be? Colorado. Give me some snow in the cabin with some legal. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I shouldn't have never should have said that, but what you just said. Y'all, I say Lake Tahoe or Gatlinburg. But I mean, it's for the same reason she said Colorado. Be in a cabin somewhere with snow, we got a fireplace, like real snow, not this mess we see, not this. I don't judge, but um. Uh... But you judge. <laughs> she judging our pajamas, y'all. I'm judging that. She had them on last year, y'all saw the picture. <laughs> um, but yeah, not this dusting of snow we get every five years in, Chris in Houston, but like real snow. Uh, would you rather have three feet of snow or no snow at all? That's easy. No snow at all. I don't do snow. I don't do I'd probably have three feet of snow. Three? Not in, not in Houston, no. I want to be somewhere. Oh, where stuck they... in a cabin in Colorado. I don't think we'll be stuck with three feet. That's why I say I You wanna... can drive in three feet of snow? That's why I say I would want to be somewhere where people know how to deal with snow. In Houston, the whole city would sit down and shut down. But how you drive in three feet of snow? That's a lot. I don't know. Is that a lot, y'all? Because, of course, three feet, you could clear that away from your house, out the driveway. But I imagine they put salt in the streets and make it melt and stuff like that. Like, y'all who live in them kind of climates, you're probably saying three feet ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Let us know. We don't know. We don't, we don't live in a place where it snows. I'm just thinking three, three feet water compares to three feet of snow. Yeah. But it's different. If someone offered you a gift card to any store you wanted, which store would you choose? Oh my gosh, y'all, that's hard because I shop at so many different stores and, um, okay, if it could be like any, 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 any store that I want, um, you know what, it's not going to be hard because I have to, it was going to be hard when I was thinking about like all the stuff I like to buy and places I like to shop, but then I think about what I like most. Um, my most valuable possessions. So it would be like, like Barnes and Noble or a bookstore or something like that. That's all I would want. Like well, Barnes and Noble is even open still. Yeah, Barnes and Noble is still open. Yeah, actual books are becoming a thing again. People don't That's like good. the whole digital books. I like the digital books. A lot of people don't like them. So I would I would say Academy. I don't know if Academy is nationwide. So for those of you who don't know what Academy is, it's, it's just a sporting goods store. Um, would you rather build a snowman, go <clears throat> sledding, have a snowball fight, or stay inside drinking hot cocoa? Stay inside drinking hot cocoa. You boring. I ain't getting out there in that snow. Not even have a snowball fight. <laughs> no. I'm gonna watch y'all from inside with my cocoa. I'm gonna go for the snowball fight. And we're gonna pull her out there in it. I ain't going at in it. At least long enough to hit her once. I ain't going in it. If you were Santa Claus, what kind of cookie would you want to be left out for you on Christmas Eve? Chocolate chip with pecans. What you want? Say the same thing. <laughs> Chocolate chip, pecans are awesome. Mm -hmm. Name one place you could never live because of the winter weather. Alaska. Mm -hmm. Russia. Yeah, those places. <clears throat> What's the most bizarre experience you've had while shopping? Around Christmas or just in general? It doesn't say. I saw a whole fight in the grocery store one time. A whole fight? <laughs> A whole fight, y'all. Like a, a fist fight, a real fight. That was bizarre. This was a while ago when my kids were younger. And people were, these people were fighting. These two people. It was like, what do you do? Like, it was weird. Like, you can't, you just, do you continue shopping and pretend it's not going on? Do you go watch? Do you leave? Do you intervene? Hell no. I got my stuff and I left. I got my kids. I left my groceries in the cart and we left 
So I saw something similar, but I, I wouldn't call it a fight. This lasted two seconds. Well, we'll say 30 seconds if you count the actual argument. But there was this uh, younger lady and this older lady. They got into it over a parking space. This was in the parking lot. They got into it over a parking space. The younger lady knocked the other lady smooth out. That's crazy, y'all. Out. That's crazy. That was crazy. Name a Christmas song that is for sure on your party playlist. Come um, Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Um, hold up, it's on the tip of my tongue. All I want for Christmas is you, Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of holiday shopper are you? Black Friday, Christmas Eve, year long order. If I had to choose one of those, I'm none of those. Mm -hmm. Um, no. If I have to choose one, I would say I'm not a year long. I don't start early. I don't do Black Friday. I do have to still make some purchases on Christmas Eve. So I guess that's me. Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. I don't fit neatly into any of those categories either. But if I had to pick one, I would go with Black Friday. I don't do Black Friday. Then but, why you pick But me? that's a, that's the closest there is <laughs> to what I actually am. I do start shopping about that early and I'm done at this point. I do too, but I didn't pick, I'm not done. So that's why I didn't pick that. I start shopping around end of October, November, usually around, on average, November, Black Friday-ish time, but I'm due Black Friday. But I'm not done. Most years I'm done Christmas Eve. I ain't done this year. I had to get some stuff today. If you could be a character in a holiday movie, who would you be and why? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Can I say that? Yeah. Because I want to, like, do that, don't, doesn't he fly? Yeah. I want to fly with Santa on the sleigh. Mm-hmm. You gonna lead it? Yeah, it? I'm gonna lead it. Rudolph leads it mm -hmm. with his red nose. So bright. So bright. That's gonna be me leading Santa to all the houses of the kids who've been good. So y'all, I would be. What? Well, I don't even know his name. Who? Oh. The black dude on the um in Charlie Brown. You know his name? Mm -mm, I don't know his name. I thought I said it's a black dude on Charlie Brown, but I don't know. see that's wrong. That's why I want to be him. We don't know his name, and you didn't even know it was such a dude. And he dirty. He, he got some stuff to say. No, that's Pig Pig. <laughs> okay. But he got some stuff to say. That is one of my favorite holiday movies, but it's not the favorite, so I didn't name that. So I would want to be him so I could say all the stuff he's been wanting to say all the years. <laughs> What's the worst Christmas <clears throat> gift you have ever received? That's hard for me because I haven't really received any um, bad Christmas gifts. Um... Oh, I mean, I guess when I was a kid and, you know, as a kid, you want toys. And so my mom's friends would always get us these gifts and stuff. And so one of her friends would always get us like these ugly like outfits, these ugly sweaters. It wasn't a Christmas sweater. It was just an ugly sweater. Your mom made y'all wear them. No, she knew we didn't want to wear it. So she didn't make us wear it. We were like, oh, why should y'all get us that? She was like, y'all not going to wear that. <laughs> I don't remember getting no bad gifts, but <clears throat> I will say what I think the worst Christmas gift is. I've talked about this before. Soap what? on a rope. What is soap on a rope? <laughs> there's a bar of soap and there's a rope attached to it. Like I said before, I don't know if you're supposed to tie that rope around your neck. I don't know if you're supposed to hook it over the shower head. I don't know what the purpose of the rope is. Put it That's on your, weird. Put it on your wrist so it doesn't fall. Like, what was wrong with the person who invented this? I don't stand soap on the rope. And we used to, we, as kids, they used to get that for us to give to a certain uncle. What <laughs> uncle? <laughs> so I need to ask him. What uncle? Like Austin used to like getting the soap on the rope. What? <laughs> If you could be any holiday dessert, 
What would you be and why? <clears throat> Holiday designs. Holiday desserts. I don't know if I can say. What? I would just be a cake. Just any cake? I would be a chocolate cake. Why well, do you don't know if you can say that? <laughs> I mean, because I'm moist and sweet and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> and in other news. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> I would be red velvet cake just because I that's my favorite cake. That's a boring reason. <laughs> hey, I can't top what you just said. <laughs> you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? Both. I like giving. See, I told y'all that's why it's hard to shop him. <laughs> would you rather kiss Santa under the mistletoe or elf on a shelf? Santa underneath the mistletoe last night. I'm like Uncle Donald. I ain't kissing neither one of them. <laughs> Donald David, Uncle David. I ain't kissing neither <laughs> one of them. I ain't kissing Santa nowhere. <laughs> and I ain't kissing the elf on the, on the shelf or nowhere else. Wait, is it a female elf? They got it female, could be. They got female elves on the shelf. It could be. So I'll go with the elf on the shelf. Uh, do you prefer real Christmas trees or artificial? I prefer artificial because I don't like the maintenance of a real Christmas tree. I don't like, what do you call it? When they, when the, um, pine the pines, etc. I, I don't like that. I don't. What about you? Pine needles. Yeah. I prefer, I prefer real trees, y'all, because that's what I grew up with. Me too. Um. I never smell. had an artificial tree. Yeah, the smell, the mm -hmm. smell. I did not like having to take it out because you take it out. Did you water it and stuff or your parents yeah. did? No, I did. Yeah, it's maintenance. So, I, I ain't got time for that. I didn't like when it was time to get rid of it because you got to take it. I don't know what we, I mean, we lived, we had the woods right behind us, so I had to carry it and throw it in the woods. <laughs> but, uh, but then you got the pine needles all over the carpet I, and I didn't like having to clean that up. I ain't either, but I didn't have to. But now that I'm an adult and I have my own house, I ain't doing it. We got pay. Avoid all of it. Exactly. Would you rather, <laughs> wait, when someone gives you fruit cake for Christmas, do you eat it or re-gift it? Neither one. I do not eat no fruit cake and I ain't giving it to nobody. Don't you ever throw it I First of all, I don't think I've ever received it, but I, haven't either. I think I probably would throw it away. No, I would, I would donate it to what a homeless shelter or something? Well, I suppose. Make them homeless people eat that. It's better than nothing. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> they giving them food in there. They be alright without a fruit cake. It's somebody that like a fruit cake in that shelter. I think our generation stopped with the fruit cake. So I mean, I've never been given a fruit cake. I never I've it. never seen somebody <laughs> of my generation or younger give someone a fruit cake. I ain't never heard nobody. Oh, what? So so give me a fruit cake. You ever tasted it? Mm -hmm. Dang, what it mm -hmm. tastes like? No, I don't taste no fruit cake. It tastes like I don't want no more of that. Uh. Some people like it though, like she said. Um, would you rather open gifts on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? I answered that. I'm a Christmas morning gifter kind of person. What about you? Yeah, me too. Christmas morning makes it more special to me. I don't know. It feels more Christmassy. Do you decorate for Christmas or are you a witch? Honey. I mean. <laughs> Y'all, we. We decorate, not only do we decorate, it's getting earlier and earlier every year. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'll be so excited and ready. Would you rather go caroling or be caroled? I think I'd rather go caroling. Yeah, I, I think that would be wanna. fun. I don't even want to. You don't think it'd be fun to go caroling? No. I would. I would, I would go with a group of carolers and I think I would just really like that. You gotta practice with them. You can just jump in the group and say Yeah, that. we can practice. I don't want to do that. And I don't want nobody standing outside my door saying that. Now I don't want that, but I go stand outside somebody else's door. <laughs> Get shot. Do you. Oh, uh, this is the last question, y'all. <clears throat> what holiday movie could you watch over and over? Trying to think. 
Charlie Brown Christmas. I like to watch it every year. Although I didn't watch it this year, but we're going to watch it tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. What about you? I don't think I have one that I, I mean, because that's what they like doing, that's what we do. But I don't have a movie where it's like, oh, we're going to see that again this year. You don't? No. So you you didn't grow up like watching the same Christmas movies over and I over? I did, but the movies I used to watch, y'all remember them claymation movies? The Red, the Rudolph, yeah, the I like Frost those of the too. Snowman, and all them. They don't come on and anymore. Charlie Brown. Yeah. They don't come on, but you can get them. The Grinch. That's yeah. what we used to watch We watched year. The Grinch. <laughs> but... You can still watch it. We ch we choose Christmas movies every Friday during Christmas season. You could choose those Christmas. movies. No, but I'm saying none of I don't like now as an adult. I'm like I'm not like you oh, don't want to see, see it. it. Not, really. not even Charlie Brown Christmas. I mean, I'll watch it, but the question was, do you watch over and over? Mm. Well, I guess it would be one. Of those. I guess I watch it over and over, but I don't not because I want to. <laughs> Well, that's it, y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Yep. We enjoyed this. So. Happy National Eggnog Day. Hope y'all got yes. some eggnog, drinking eggnog, eating eggnog, making something with it, whatever you choose to do. It was actually delicious. So, you did good. There's one more day, y'all. Oh, it's coming to an end. National Whiners Day, the 26th, the day after Christmas. You got to whine throughout your video. Now, like I said. Whine. Wine. Some of y'all like to pull the pranks on each other and stuff. That's a good prank. To wine. Mm -hmm. If they don't know, that's what you're going to be doing. <clears throat> so we hope to see some of y'all's wine and videos. Hopefully we see some of y'all's eggnog videos tonight. Uh, but we done with this one. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when our videos come out. Come out. Thumbs up this video. Share this video. And we will catch y'all on the next one. Yeah. Nation out. Bye.